I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and Dale Wright and myself have been talking for a little while about this particular car because well you just don't see it let alone see it too often so Dale what did you bring today? Hey Lou thanks I've got a 1968 AMC Rebel SST convertible let me get you right to the car itself so here is the rare one that you don't see now Dale this is also you shared the SST so what's the uh, what's the meaning of that? Yeah, so American Motors kept it somewhat ambiguous what SST actually stood for. There's some speculation, Super Sport Touring, uh, Supersonic Transport, a couple of, <laughs> a couple of uh, theories, but uh, AMC never defined it. But what it really signifies is the top trim level um, in 1968. So in the convertible, you could either get it in an SST uh, trim level or the 550 trim level which is a much more stripped down version so this is the upgrade version and uh, what's the color on this one yeah this was a one-year only color in 1968 it's called Calcutta Russet it Calcutta had a lot of metallic Russet in it. and uh, you can see it's a little windy we're in Illinois and we're gonna deal with that because we just don't get to share with you this Color? Go ahead. I was gonna say the color in this bright sun, it kind of it's got a coppery kind of bronze color to it, but in the in the clouds or, or at night it looks uh, more of a burgundy color, so it's kind of a cool color. So there's a couple of cues that I want to show you. Obviously this bullet-like piece here is clearly prominent, and in my opinion it's all the details that make the difference. And that's one of them right there. Yeah, and that only came on the SST trim level. So you wouldn't see that on the 500. Have you ever seen another 500? Uh, yeah, I've seen it's a 550. Yeah, I've, I've seen them, but they're me. actually more rare. They only made uh, 377 of the 550 uh, trim level, and the, the SST, like this one, they made 823 for a total of 1,200. Oh, well, there's 823 of these. I mean, yeah. I don't know if we should even be videoing this one, then it's so common. common yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah this, this is the last convertible American Motors <laughs> ever made. The last convertible. And we're going to turn it around when we show you the back, so I'll give you that in the light. While we're here in the front, let's take a look at, um, I like how they scripted it there. They wrote it there. Let's open up the uh, engine compartment, shall we? Again, it's a little windy. It's going to be what it's going to be, but we also want to make sure you get all the light. On that so the Typhoon 290 was the smaller engine. What were the other options? Uh, you could you could also get in terms of V8s. You could also get a 343, which is the largest engine you could get in the Rebel in 1968. Um, the SST came standard with the 290 V8. Uh, there, there's uh, rumors that there was one 390 made, not a convertible. It was a, a coupe, but uh, I've not seen that car. But yeah. According to the sales brochure, you can only get this with a 290 or a 343. Now, one thing that I'm seeing that's unique on this car, what is that right there? Uh, that's the bellows for the cruise control. Sure, so you can kind of see how it, it holds vacuum, and you can kind of see it work the throttle so as it squeezes and works the throttle. I'm going to get my yep. camera right. Go ahead, do that one more time. Sure. And get the camera on that side. You can see how that squeezes and works the throttle like so. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and the control... Over here. Speedometer runs through it. Let me go on this side just a second. I see we've got our all important American Motors tagging yep. there. Yep, the valve cover tag designates that this was a 290. Uh, the 9 indicates 1967, and it was built on Halloween actually, 1031 of 67. And it's a 46,000 mile original. Original mile car, the engine's never been rebuilt. I don't believe it's been out of the car as far as I know. Wow. And it runs really smooth. It's a little two barrel. You couldn't get the 290 with a four barrel. Let's, uh, let's, let's start it. And uh, before we show the interior and the tail lights, we'll listen to the exhaust now. We'll do it a little bit different. Quiet. 
came with a motor track 2100 two barrel. <laughs> it's that smooth. Let me listen to it idle for a second. Single exhaust? Yep, single exhaust. Single exhaust, here it is. We are right up on it, you can barely hear it. Let's, uh, while it's in the shade, let's step on the brakes for just a moment. Show what those look like. Beautiful. And we're going to turn it around for you. So here's the back of the car, and you see why I wanted to put it in the sun. So that you could see the tail. So not only do we have the Rebel script here, and the SST here, but notice on the tail lights, I mean, they're almost molded into the body which is really cool, along with this chrome piece that you see not only comes down the car, wraps around and goes up the other side. So that chrome piece basically wraps the entire car. Yeah, yeah and that was an SST uh, feature. That was really cool. That was so, not on the so, I-50 piece. So one exhaust. <clears throat> All right, well, we've got a little trunk and treats for them, so let's uh, take them to that. And before that I... that's kind of cool is this, this side marker leg over here. Taillights. The side marker light is actually part of the same housing as that tail light. It's is that right? Piece. Okay, got it. So when it's lit here, it shows it here? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Thanks for letting me know that. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got a couple of things. One, we've got Pretty Girl in Bathing Suit with Car. Now, there's a reason why we have that here. Um, yeah, that was a factory, uh, this is a factory photo. photo. So there she is with the car. Did she come with the car at all, you think, <laughs> when you first originally bought it? That would be a nice option, that right? That would be a nice. They I think that, a lot more than yeah, they would have, yeah. yeah, American Motors would still be in business, actually, <laughs> exactly. if they were doing that. So we've got the Javelin, the Rebel, the American, the Ambassador, and the new AMX. Either we're changing too little or everyone else is changing too much. So we're going to go through that. Yep, the Javelin have, debuted in 68. we got some wind, as you can see. So there's the Javelin debut. Yeah, the Javelin actually came out several months before the two-seater, and uh, the earlier brochure didn't have the AMX on it. This was a later brochure that included the 68 AMX. It came out mid-year. Okay. <clears throat> and there's the Javelin. It seems like you see more AMXs than you see Javelins these days. Yeah, they made a lot more Javelins than AMXs. Right. Let me make sure I said that right. Did I say they make more? You said you AM see a lot more AMXs, which is AMXs. Okay, you see yeah. a lot more of them, but they they made uh, I think fifty five thousand or so javelins in sixty eight. Got it. Okay, 7, so I did 000, say it right. I think, of the AMX. Now here we are in the Rebel, and there's that trim level without that piece that we talked about, no chrome. Yeah. That you can see the five fifty six passenger car. And we put the car this way so that you can. Yeah, there was also a 770 trim level, which was the mid-level, uh, but you could not get the convertible in the, in the 770. In trim the mid-level. Right. So here's your car. Yep. The SST Rebel SST convertible. How many of these have you seen on the road? Oh, just a handful, but only because I, I go to all the AMC shows. But if you didn't go to those, you just don't see them. No. I noticed your car is the only car that has kind of a young lady waiting in the back to be picked <laughs> up on this too. Yep, that was popular even in the 60s, right? There you go with the wagon showing the two doors, the opening that way and opening that way. That was a good move on their port part. So well, you get some people up on the rocks. I have no, They're wondering how they get back down to their car probably <laughs> is a challenge there. And the rebel wagons. I'm guessing it's got to be even more difficult to see a rebel wagon today because those couldn't have yeah probably most of them probably went to the crusher here's the i'm going to take you just a little time on the rebel specifications so you can pause on some of those and here's the rebel options
So if you're interested and you want to read all that, well, you can. And as you can see on the photo on the left there, they did actually make a few four speeds. I I know of one. I, I think there's four known four speed convertibles out there. The American, the Rambler. The four door and rogue. Yeah, Gosh, that's a, that's actually a good looking little wagon. Yeah. Yeah, and the only like you said, this was the last convertible AMC made, and they only made it in the Rebel. Um, earlier years, you could get the convertible in the American and the and the Ambassador, but for '68, it was the Rebel only. The Rebel only. The Ambassador, <coughs> as you could see. Yeah, the Ambassador was pretty much the same car from the from the doors rearward. That's quite the color. Yep. Wow. The wagon. Looks like some of the kids made it down from the mountain. <laughs> He's taking her up the mountain. It's all about the mountain, I guess. The Ambassador SST. Hopefully it's okay with the wind back here. Here's the all SST right. hardtop. And this is an original brochure, so I'm taking my time through that. Interesting how the seats fold back. Yeah, that was kind of an AMC thing. And here's the AMX debuting. Yep, yeah, with, with the AMX came the 390. Uh, that's good stuff right there. And the Go package, as you can read. And then here's the performance sector. Five year, 50,000 miles. And two year, 24,000 on the entire car. All right, share with me what's this right here. Yeah, so from what I understand, this was... Uh, I see that sales training volume two. Yep, training material for okay. the for the salespeople in 68. And it's got some, uh, some <clears throat> film. Yeah, film in here. I if I can we'll get it pull open. the film out. Get it open and you can see it. Yep. Yep, and then they had uh, these are just all some the same information, uh, you know, putting the Jalen against the Mustang and the Rebel against the Chevelle. So it's got a lot of the price Pricing and so here they show the actual two vehicles. Yep. Huh. Let me just do this just so it's kind of all we can see it in the same light. Right and handling. The wind is just not going to cooperate. That's all right. <laughs> I guess they got the Camaro and the Barracuda on there as well. Let me show the... Alright, we'll let go of that. They're all within a couple dollars. Interesting. Yeah. The two door hard tops. They actually show the cars. Yep, there's the Rebel. Sportier appearance, the Rebel. Well, that's going to be... <laughs> that. That's, that's all p personal choice, but I love how they... Are they sure that? By the way, I do see the four-speed there. Yep. That's good stuff right there. Yeah, the Rebel replaced the... And they show the Fairlane, too, yep. and the satellite. Yeah, the Rebel replaced the Classic as the mid-size entrant. And it, it was a lot sportier than the Classic. Uh, the Classic, last year for the Classic was 66. This body style came out in 67. Drives sportier, too. And... Honest value wagons. What a cool piece. And I just want to share too that that mat is all part of the car too. So we're going to put this all back together. Sure. And I'm going to go to the interior, may I? Sure. Yep. So while we've got the interior in the sun, I'm going to take you here and show you that. As we open the door, you can see the door handle. I like how they blend that into the door. 68 was the first year they came up with that paddle door handle, which they used for many years afterwards. 
There's your paint. Let me show that door. You're greeted to the American Motors as you enter. You've got our bench seat. Yep, the seats are all original. Uh, door panels are all original. I did replace the carpeting. It was a bit of a rodent issue when I bought the car. <laughs> so, had to get rid of the old carpet. Yeah, that is an NOS mat. Notice the word original rev floor mat. has got the AM script in it. That is an original mat. Yeah, I see that now. Yep. American Motors there. It's got a little metal flake to it, too. Yeah, a little glitter in there. So we've got the Rebel there. We've got the Shift Command there. And a very flat dash, as you can you can see, with the uh, Rebel there. Nicely prominent for the passenger. And one of the things that was interesting is I thought the way the radio has that 60s Corvette look that up and down where there's your AM FM tag depending on where you wanted to go. I'm gonna move that for just a second. Your ignition, your lighter, and there's your original miles. Now how'd you find this one with so lot low miles? And the the, the uh, owner prior to me had it since uh, since the early 80s. The car had been repainted in the early 80s prior to him owning the car. Um, and for him, he just uh, he just uh, took it out on weekends once in a while, so it didn't get it didn't get a lot of miles from you know time it was 15 years old or so beyond. Got it. So it was uh, it was barely running when I bought it. It was in a barn up. I got it in upstate New York. Uh, I had looked for one of these for quite a while. There aren't many left. A cruise command. So yep. let me turn you around for just a second towards the sun. We'll shut that. What's the reaction when you're out of a car show? Yeah, people are mostly surprised. Uh, you know, the reaction I get is, boy, I've seen a lot of AMCs, but I've not seen a two-door convertible like this. I think, you know, a lot of people, when they think AMC sedans, they've got the, the wagons and the four-door sedans in their minds. Um, and then they see this convertible, which is really, you know, a pretty, pretty sporty-looking car. Uh, yeah. Um, so it gets it gets some attention, and most most of the time people are, the reaction is I didn't I didn't even know that existed. So how does that make you feel? Yeah, it makes me feel good. It's it's, <laughs> it's fun. To, I, I again I love American Motors, and uh, I like to be able to show what you know some of the stuff they were doing in the '60s, and I've got a couple other AMC's that uh, I love to show as well. Fun to have such a unique car. Yeah, let's uh, take it for a ride. All right, let's do it. So I'm here with Dale and we're in the 68 Rebel Convertible and uh, it's a little chilly but uh, not bad. Nice fall day. Nice fall day. And might I add a perfect day, let me just show you this ride. Nice. The car is definitely smooth, wouldn't you yeah. say? Yeah, it's a nice little cruiser. So question for you right off the bat that I was thinking about that I haven't asked you yet. Why this car out of all the cars in the world? Um, I've, uh, I've always been an AMC guy, if you will. I've got a, a Javelin that I bought when I was 20 years old. And uh, I don't know, a couple years ago, I decided I wanted a convertible. <laughs> You're pretty limited with uh, American Motors. And, uh, you know, I started looking into what convertibles they made. And, and uh, you know, once I laid eyes on this car and the body style, I decided I had to have it. And, <laughs> it was it took, over. It was over. It took me quite a few years to finally find one because there, uh, there's not a lot of them left. And uh, it's. I also wanted a '68 Rebel because it's my birth year, so I thought that would be pretty cool as well. So. That is pretty cool. Now, doesn't your dad have some AMC's too? Yeah, he had a Javelin, and he's got a '66 Rambler Classic convertible. It used to be my car. So, was that an influence on you at all? No, my dad's a Ford guy, <laughs> so uh, no. I think I was an influence on him with, okay. the, with the AMCs, uh, but he's a Ford guy, he's got Model A's and Model T's, and he had Mustangs when I was growing up. Well, this is just absolutely great. It seems a little calmer in here. Yeah, definitely. Well, Dale, I mean, uh, what a treat taking the 68 out and taking it for a cruise and getting a little ride in, and thanks again for uh, being on my car store. Yeah, my pleasure. Glad we finally made it work.